Welcome back to the channel boys and girls. I hope you're all doing well. It's the 3rd of January so it's a bank holiday Monday in the, in the UK. Uh, so yeah I, I don't know because my videos are about four weeks out and stuff like that so uh, I'm going to be shuffling around a bit because I think that some of them need to be done sooner than others etc etc so yeah you'll probably see this in the next week or so but yeah it's a happy new year and uh, I hope everyone is well also the uh, we're not going to mention uh, Corona or Omicron or whatever you want to call it so um, let's hope it just becomes the normal thing like it should be now just gotta live with it I think Obviously, get your booster if you haven't already. <laughs> blah blah blah. But um, yeah, no. Obviously, uh, first ride out in 2022 for myself. Just going to go meet a couple of mates. I don't know where we're going to be honest. I put the phone on the uh, quad lock mount. Um, just in case we decide to plumb in some navigation. I think there's four of us today. So, um, but I'm not gonna vlog that obviously this is more of a catch up with mates however the, for do a short vlog on a few of the updates I've done with the bike um, and things like battery obviously I really sat battery video I think on the 1st of January so a couple of days ago since I filmed that however I got asked on some of the forums going oh, well you went on and on and on and on well that's kind of what I do that's kind of how I like to do my vlogs and um, but you didn't give us does it work or not? Well, if you knew on that, that video, I literally had just put it on. So I'm not going to go, yes, it's a fine, it solved, solved all the problems after just fitting it. Um, I'm sorry if that's what you wanted, but I, I'm just doing a day in the life of what was going on in the situation then. As I said in the vlog, I will let you know what's going on, and I am pleased to report we're probably five six weeks in now believe it or not since I did do that video and bikes fine absolutely fine running fine starts on the button even if I left it like a week it just starts up straight away now and um, that's without being on trickle charge or anything like that obviously I have been keeping it on trickle charge but I did I did do a test where I left it a completely weak in the garage in the cold in the UK and she was absolutely fine guys all right so I know people go oh you should you know buy cheap buy twice stuff like that but as I say in the vlog I could get probably two and a half of those batteries for the price of a nice lithium plus I'd have to get a new Oxford uh, charger you know like I said for me I'll give it a go all the uh, Yeza batteries were out of stock the time I was trying to get one there was a couple but they wanted like £35 delivery and it was more like 150 quid at the time of looking but I think you know they obviously may be short supply and um, obviously the world's been a bit messed up on haulage issues especially here in the UK and um, so yeah at the time when I had to buy it I was quite limited anyway it was either go buy a lithium battery or buy that battery basically and so I went for that um, but yeah, police report absolutely fine. So if you do have battery issues, which I see quite a few people are, it is that time of year. The cold does kill off batteries. Um, yeah, I, I have no qualms with it at the moment. All right, um, I can't tell you if it's going to last as long as the original or anything like that. However, that's that's my feedback so far. All right. Oh, it's cold. Hope you can hear me. It is quite windy today. So, um, but yeah, first ride of the year, eh? Obviously, the other thing I was going to talk to you about is basically what I take when I go out on my little rides. I've uh, got my, um, oh, what do you call it, tank bag. It's not on the tank today. I've strapped it to the seat because uh, I kind of prefer it there. I kind of like seeing my tank, to be honest. So, um, obviously, I've done the... Uh, review on that uh, bag before so um, it's a legends bag can't remember the actual model but uh, I can leave a link in the description always the way your mind goes blank when you're riding and um, 
So yes, yeah, so I've got in there, but what do I carry? Well, in this day and age, I carry a face mask. That's number one thing I carry. Number two, my small bike lock. Obviously, I don't carry the light lock unless I'm going away, away. Obviously, I have the light lock on and the stuff in the garage, but I don't don't tend to carry that because it's a bit too bulky. It's only when I've got like my uh, proper proper uh, luggage uh, stuff I will carry that with me. So yeah, it's just a bit of a deterrent. If they want your bike, they want your bike. We've said it before in all my security videos. Um, what else do I carry in there? I carry uh, it's muck off light Pfizer little kit. Um, just because obviously this time of year you get a lot of crap on the road and you can get flicked up. Or oh, in the summer you get all the bugs and things like that. So that's only about like nine quid off, off say Amazon or something. But yeah, it's handy. My mates have had to use it over the years. So um, yeah, so I've carried that. So yeah, mask. Particularly going to shops or going to uh, any of the restricted places with uh, bloody COVID. So yeah, I carry that. I carry uh, my visor thing. I carry that. At the moment, I've got my winter gloves in there. Um, I'm wearing my summers at the moment, but winter gloves are in the uh, in the bag in case I need it. What else do I carry? Ah, oh, my earplugs. Half the time on this bike, is I don't find I need earplugs, but sometimes when you're on a long run, being a naked bike and the wind noise, I, you know, you can get a bit of fatigue from it. So uh, if we're on a long run, I don't even know where we're going today, by the way. Uh, as I said earlier, um, I haven't got them in now but I have got them so I can put them in because you know you're hearing it's very important for you you know for life you don't want to ruin your ears too soon uh, so yeah I do have how to carry that as well and um, I need to replace it but I used to carry the because I've lost it but the a little plug kit as well for the tires in case you get a puncture in fact it's reminding me doing this video I need to order one of them again so I uh, can't find it, save my life here. I took it when we went to uh, Snowdonia. So it might be in the other bag, but I can't see it. Anyway, I'm going to go get some fuel and we'll continue the chat in a second. Alright, the glove on. How do you feel? Even normal, normal uh, E10 144.9, yeah? Crazy, isn't it? A little bit cheaper than it was, I think, but anyhow. I need a better stuff for my girl. Right. Let's make a move. Yes, so yeah, what I tend to do on my trips, as we're saying, is I ask what I carry. Um, I also make sure I have my quad lock uh, case on my phone. I normally have a leather case on there, just like I said, in case I need to put my handlebars. I also carry a power cable. I need something else to mention. Um, I've never used it. Obviously, when I did my battery video, I did point it out that there is a USB charging port under the seat. Where you go in, stay there, good. And. Um, yeah, so I carry a power cable um, just in case, you know, phone dies um, just so you can charge it up you don't want to get caught out so it's, um, I don't, I've never run it I've thought about running the cable up to down the bars but I've never done it because my phone's really good on its battery um, I've said it, said it before I think on that occasion but um, yeah, I know a lot of people can just run it under, lift the tank slightly, can lift it up and uh, just buy one bolt, a bit like when you do the X-Pipe and just run it all the way up to the quad lock here um, good, little, good little idea that, you know, I think even quad lock do like a charging uh, charging port uh, docking system now so obviously I've got the standard quad lock with the, I've got the vibrator dampener on um, so uh, yeah, mine's just a basic setup to be honest for the for the bike. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. What I carry for the bike. Um, I'm not going to keep this vlog going on and on and on because I know that's not what you guys want on a Saturday morning. But I thought I'd just give you a bit of the update, like I said, for the battery, and basically a little bit of what I carry when I go out on these little rides out. You know, 
I said, I feel a bit rusty on the bikes. It's been a, been a month or so since I've been on it, to be honest. I know you would have seen the video, but, um, you know, as I said, I bank my videos uh, way in advance, especially this time of year, because obviously uh, getting out is more tricky. Because it's always dark when I leave the house in the morning for work, and it's dark when I get home. So, uh, so yeah, that's it, really. So, right, I'll let you crack on. If you'd like to like this video, if you've uh, enjoyed this little vlog, um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Only 10% uh, of my viewers have subscribed, uh, but I notice a lot of you continue to come back, so you obviously do like a bit of my content. Um, so if you are, please subscribe for the journey, plenty more stuff to come, and I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye!